How to create a donation form on Stripe. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to create a donation form through this website called Stripe. Now let us begin. The first thing we're going to do is to go to stripe.com and then we're going to click start now. The first thing you're going to need to do is to add an email address, input your full name, input your country, and then lastly create a password. After creating that, you could simply click the create account and then Stripe would send a confirmation email through the email that you have inputted earlier. For me, I already created an account, so I'm going to sign in. Now, after logging in or creating your account, you're going to be redirected to this dashboard of Stripe. Now, as you can see here on the top, you could see home, which what we are seeing right now. There's payments, there's balances, customers, products, billings, reports, connect, and the more option. What we're going to do right now is click the more option, and then we're going to go and go under the direct payments and then click payment links. Now over here, we can see that we can create a checkout page in just a few clicks. Now we're going to click this button right here. And then it's going to redirect us to this page where we can edit and preview the page that we are going to create. Right now, the type that we have is a product or subscription type. We're going to click this and then we're going to click the option, customers choose what to pay. After clicking that, we can see changes on this clicking area. We can now see title, description, image, the currency we want it to be on. Right now it's set to US dollar. We could suggest a preset amount, set limits. There's also advanced options. On the right side, you can see that this is the current state of our donation page. Now what we're going to do right now is to create our payment page step by step. The first thing we're going to need to do is add a title. The title I'm going to have is Donation for Children with Gray Tumor. And then we can add a description so that we can give our customers or those who are donating with more information, such as every dollar donated will be given to the children suffering from brain tumor we could add an image if you want it is completely optional but after adding an image it will appear over here for now we're going to upload a temporary image right now i upload this this logo just to show you how it would look like when you add an image i suggest that when you add an image it should be completely relevant to your title and the description now under currency, like I said earlier, suggest preset amount allows you to add a minimum donation that people can create. For example, the minimum would be $10. Now as you can see here on the right, you can see that $10 is now appearing over here. You can also activate the set limits where we could set another minimum amount, which was set $10 from earlier, and then the maximum amount that you are willing to accept. Now under advanced options, we can see this option over here. Changing this option will allow us to change the message that is on this button on our page. By clicking this, we're, not, we're then going to choose the word donate. And as you can see on the right, the button description has been changed to donate $10. Now we could also add custom fields. By clicking this, you could add more text. If you have more option, we're going to disable that for now. You could allow business customers to provide tax IDs. You could collect customer address. As you can see here, it will start collecting their address. You could choose to collect their billing address only or their billing and shipping address. You could also require the customer to provide a phone number, which we can see here on the right. Now, after that, as you can see, our donation page has, is now different from the starting point where we had earlier 
We have a minimum donation. We have a logo. We also have a description. You can see that we are now requiring a phone number and then the billing address. We could also click over here on the top right to see what it would look like on a mobile display and a desktop display. Now after this, you're going to simply click create link on the top right and then it's going to redirect us to this page. Now before you can actually use this payment link or this donation link, you're going to have to fully activate your account as you can see in this message on the top. It's saying that to charge your customers, we have to activate payments by verifying your business on connecting your bank. You would have to accomplish this task before you can actually use your donation website. Now going down here, you can see the title for our donation. This is now the current link of our donation page. We're going to copy it. Now we're going to see what the page would look like when the people click our link. Now, like what we saw earlier in the editing page where we can see the preview on the right side, we can now see that all the stuff that we were seeing earlier is present here, like the email, that number, card information, name on card, billing address. They could also have this option to securely save my information for one click checkout. And over here, we could change the amount if we want, then our logo. Like I said earlier, this is what the people who clicks your link would see. And then we're going to go back to Stripe. And then we're going to see more option here. You can, now, as you can see, there's an option called QR code where you will be able to print or have a QR code available so that people could just scan through their camera and then they would be redirected to the page that we saw earlier. You can also buy a button. Now, you can also click buy button. And now we're going to click this three dots over here. Then it's going to show us that we can change the name. We can also edit it or add notes. We could also deactivate this link. Now, if you scroll down here, you can see the details of our donation page, like what status it is, the date created, if it has a promotion code, if it collects addresses, and different other information. Now, after activating your account, after doing all the necessary steps, you could simply copy your link or send the QR code to and paste it and then post it on your social media page. And then people could visit the donation page and then create a donation. And it's as simple as that. And that's it, guys. That's how you create a donation page using stripe.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.